1968, you wrote, directed, and appeared in a short film called Prelude. So was this your first experience directing? Uh, not my first experience directing, but my first experience directing film. Mm. Um, I had a little edge because I, uh, I watched the process carefully and uh, I was an ex-photographer anyway. A still photographer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I won a national contest, in fact, when I was 17. Wow. And uh, had been on exhibition and uh, actually a TV show had been done. And you, well, uh, you actually I, were nominated for an Oscar now for, for Prelude. Yeah. Yeah. Did you actually attend the ceremony that yeah, year? Yeah, I did. I what did. was that like? I, I flew back from, I was doing Viva Max uh -huh. in Texas, and uh, uh, Peter Ustinov and I were both nominated, and uh, uh, I, he went back, and I went, we both went back. What did the honor what? mean to you to be nominated? Uh, well, I was thrilled, yeah. But... Um, when, when it was announced, um, I, uh, and I saw the nominations, I knew that there would be a, a problem. You see, in those days, you didn't have to see everything to vote. Mm. And somehow, uh, because home movies were used in this film, they could put it in the live action category. Some home movies were used. And it was a film memorializing Robert Kennedy right after he was assassinated. And uh, uh, and it really wasn't a live action mm -hmm. story, but uh, it it got into the category. And uh, when they showed uh, when they showed uh, the uh, you know they had a couple of screenings of of the nominees. Uh, and uh, they were uh, they were not uh, uh, the the uh, Kennedy thing wasn't as well received as some of the other uh, uh, offerings and uh, so uh, if the vote had been taken there they wouldn't have won but if people hadn't seen it they'd automatically check off. Robert Kennedy remembered hmm. just because it was Robert Content, Kennedy. Right, so and uh, mm -hmm. whatever it was like, uh, it would have won. It, it occasioned a change in the academy because uh, some of the people on the committee for short films uh, was in offices near to mine and uh, they told me they were not happy with the, those results and were going to do something about it. Mm. And so what happened is, uh, um, it's a little different now. They send all the, all the selections to you and they say, don't vote unless you've seen everything. But someone could fudge that. But the process they had before was that uh, they would have a screening of all the short w works and you had to see them all before you could vote. That, that's the, that was the change that was made and that held for a number of years. Mm -hmm. uh, but with, uh, the, with the current uh, situation, they, they send out a package uh, that... Uh, that has everything on it. For about 20 minutes, I was the, the hottest guy in town 
because uh, people responded very well to Prelude. And uh, uh, I, uh, it, it was a sneak screening in the San Francisco Film Festival, and they, and they, the audience actually stood up and applauded after it was over. And and uh, and the, one of the critics wrote that up, that that the audience stood up and applauded, and and, and, and that was a great quote, mm -hmm. you know, to use. Uh, <coughs> um, and uh, uh, I. Um, uh, th there were lots of offers that, that came in. One I probably should have accepted, and that was Universal wanted to make a, uh, a full-length feature using the half hour of film that I had done already. And, uh, and, and then Fellini uh, suggested that I... He said you'd have a successo grande, a grand, a great success if you, if you uh, uh, put something with it, you know. And um, I, uh, uh, I was loath to do that at one time because I thought, okay, that is what it is, and I don't want to change it. But uh, it was really. Uh, Appropriate, and I probably should have have uh, taken Universal up on its on its offer. But I had another project I wanted to do with them, and uh, uh, but unfortunately that did did not work out. But uh, uh, economics hit the movie business around that time mm. too, and and that didn't uh, that didn't help things. Um, but. Then I got involved with things in my personal life at that time too. So, uh, uh, you know, this cause and effect thing is always at work.